Hello, hello. Hi guys. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Ricardo Dennis and I'm the uh, Global Artistic Director for Haircutting at Aveda. I'm just gonna give it a little bit more time. I've got lots of incredible products to talk about and I'm gonna be talking and sharing my uh, sort of my favorite picks for men's hair. And then I wanna share with you guys uh, kind of what I do uh, as part of my uh, skincare routine for sort of men. Hi, Denjo. So uh, if you guys want, please pop into chat. Hi, Jen. Hello, Alessandro from Los Angeles. Hi, John. So if you guys want, pop into chat. Let me know where you guys are writing from or where you're tuning in. And again, I just want to give it uh, just another couple seconds just to get some more people on. And uh, we'll talk lots about some incredible products, great stocking stuffers for your loved ones if you're here shopping for someone else, or maybe you're just looking for some, some good advice around uh, men's hair care and men's skin care as well. Hi, Joan from Bath, Ontario, Canada. Well, I'm actually Canadian and I'm, uh, my background's Portuguese and uh, I've kind of worked in many different parts of the world, but now I've been in Manhattan in New York for the last uh, almost 10 years now. So I just wanna say a big shout out to everybody who's joining us from Chicago and Canada and Florida and Los Angeles. Uh, so I guess I'll get started. And uh, if you guys have any questions, anything that I can answer, I'm gonna answer for you. And then of course, we've got this incredible customer service that are, is online with us as well. So if there's anything or I don't get to your question, we have people that are online that will definitely get to you and make sure you've got the, the right information. So uh, before I start as well, because as I start mentioning these products, um, there's gonna be a, a 15% uh, uh, discount that's given to you. All you have to do is put my name in. So my name is Ricardo. It's R-I-C-A-R-D-O. And uh, it's an absolute pleasure to have you guys virtually in my home here in New York. And we're going to be talking about men's, um, men's hair care. And also I'm going to share with you uh, my own sort of skincare regime. So first off, um, it's really important to understand that there is a difference between um, men's skin and women's skin. You know, I think very often guys feel that they can just use... Uh, their wife's products or their loved one's products, uh, you know, in the bathroom. And, you know, for the, for, the, for the most part, that's kind of true, or at least it gets you an introduction into using the right products. But the main thing that uh, changes our, our men's skin versus women's skin is testosterone. And because of testos testosterone, it literally changes the physical composition of skin. So men's skin is actually uh, 20 to 25% actually thicker. And where it becomes, I guess, not necessarily problematic, but where we really want to sort of focus our concern is looking at the amount of pores that, uh, that generally men's skin has. So, you know, in comparison, you know, men have twice as many pores, which means twice as many sebaceous glands, which is actually a gland that's inside of your pore. And what that does is it produces oil, which is what we call sebum. So because of that, men's skin tends to be oiler. It's probably more problematic to, you know, taking in toxins and impurities from pollution or the surrounding air. And then of course, acne. Now the, the things with men's skin, you know, and men's scalp as well, is, you know, we have the same concerns where, you know, with men's uh, scalp, we're thinking about hair loss, making our hair thicker and shiny. With our skin, it's about keeping the acne down, our skin looking shiny, and then especially as we get older, you know, dealing with like sagging skin, and then a big one is that, like the darker circles under our eyes. You know, and then men tend to shave more, so that's gonna change the composition of the skin. And then if you think about, you know, just the way like men apply product to their hair, you know, women generally keep it on the ends of their hair and men kind of apply it directly to the scalp. So 
that those are things that can be problematic. You know, one, you already have double the amount of, of pores and glands producing much more oil. So one of the issues is, is the clogging of those pores. And once those pores start to become clogged, what happens is as the hair tries to grow through it, you know, you could end up like losing hair because your pores are clogged. And then what it means for your skin is you could end up having, you know, acne and, you know, different kinds of skin issues, whether it's, you know, eczema and dermatitis or inflammation that happens. So uh, let's start with uh, sort of hair care and let's talk about kind of my go-to shampoos and what I love to recommend uh, to people. So I guess I will start with the, uh, this is the men's uh, performance line. I'll just sort of hold that up there. And this is just a really fantastic shampoo and this has actually got this thing called the phytoactive. And this was a, a, a sort of plant-based kind of recipe. And what it does is it actually, it deals with a lot of like skin irritation. It really helps like soothe the scalp. You'll see I'll focus a lot on the scalp because essentially that is the soil to which your hair grows from. So this is not necessarily an exfoliating shampoo. It's actually, uh, it's just like a perfect... You know, it's quite liquidy. Uh, it's not runny necessarily, nor is it super thick, but it, it really lathers really well on guys' hair. And I find that the cleansing part of it is really fantastic. And it doesn't, it doesn't like feel like you're stripping your hair. Sometimes, you know, with certain men's shampoos, it can feel really um, sort of stripping. And I love this mainly because it feels like there's some sort of like conditioning properties in it as well. And so this uh, actually has uh, uh, what's called seaweed in it. And the seaweed, as well as all the men's products, so anything that you're kind of getting with this that sits in the line, they all kind of work together with the same sort of ingredients tackling what you really need. So imagine you're applying these products to your scalp. But what this does is it's got the seaweed that actually creates like a protective barrier on your scalp and it's helping to keep it really supple and healthy. So you need a really great shampoo that's going to be removing, you know, excess product, but is also leaving your scalp in a, in a really supple, uh, non-irritated, uh, you know, sometimes you use certain shampoos and they leave you kind of feeling a little itchy or dry, especially for me, uh, kind of behind my ears. And this is just super soothing. Um, and then the aroma with this is it's got like a sort of like a, a licorice. Uh, it's it's spicy and it's also got organic lemon, lemon and spearmint. So this is super lovely, very kind of invigorating smell. Now, if you do have, uh, you know, a slight not you don't I mean I've got really long hair but if you have you know hair you need to think about conditioning it and conditioning is kind of a step that a lot of guys skip and it will become problematic probably later on in life and the main thing about conditioner is one again it's helping to you know set your scalp up to make it really supple um, and, and soft but also to kind of protect the hair to close that cuticle uh, from roughing it up and from breakage. So, you know, part of what you're trying to do is you're trying to, you know, get your scalp kind of prone to grow really healthy hair. And then you want to be adding a little bit of a conditioner at the end, uh, you know, once you've rinsed your shampoo off to add a little bit of that conditioner to really just to help to kind of protect, seal that, that cuticle, it just makes your hair kind of, kind of stronger and shinier. So, these would be the, the two that I would just generally recommend. So here we have our performance shampoo and the conditioner. And I'll just show you, you know, the, the, the great, really fantastic, you know, 100% recycled packaging. So the conditioner is exactly what you kind of, a guy kind of needs. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's just, it's, it's super buttery and it's really, really nice. And again, similar kind of aroma. Uh, and it's got that phytoactive blend as well, okay? And that's kind of like a, you know, super secret sauce that's in there. So that's fantastic. And these are the ones that I would almost, you know, 
80% of the time point my, my guys to, and the best thing to do is really think that this has been made, you know, with a guy's scalp in mind. So I love, I love these two products. So the other concern that uh, affects uh, a lot of us is, is sort of hair loss. And uh, in all honesty, this is the, really the shampoo that I'm using at the moment. And I do sometimes cycle depending on what's happening with dryness again because of my long, longer hair. So this is the Invadi Exfoliating Nourishing Shampoo, okay? And so the exfoliating part, it, it actually has uh, walnut shells in it. And the purpose of this is, is to help that skin sort of renewal and help to take away any sort of those dead cells that may be sitting on your scalp. And why that's important is, is alongside with product and dirt and oil, what also really clogs your pores is uh, sort of dead skin that's sitting on, on the scalp. So to really renew the scalp and really set up this sort of optimal, you know, place for growth, uh, to, um, I'm gonna say the tumor, but the Invadi has really been designed for that purpose specifically. So when people are like, you know, what's the difference between the, the men's shampoo and the Invadi? Well, the men's shampoo is really just there, you know, if you're, you're not dealing with hair loss, if you have some scalp issues, some irritation, this is the one you wanna go with. But if you're dealing, you know, if you're starting to get a little older, more mature, you know, and you're dealing with some hair loss, you wanna be using the, the Invadi Nourishing Exfoliating Shampoo. And this, um, does have conditioning properties to it as well. So if you're, you know, older and your hair is really, really short, you won't need a conditioner. This will kind of do it for you. Uh, as your hair starts to get longer, absolutely, you want to put in a conditioner. But again, the, the key ingredients in this, and this is 18 plus years of science. This one is something they just kind of whipped up and it's not a smoothie in a bottle. It's really like science kind of working for you. So the key ingredients here are ginseng, turmeric, and alma, and then really specific. It's got this, what's called the winter, winter green silicic acid. Say that three times. Uh, and what that is, it's a really gentle exfoliant for your scalp. So it really, again, helps to remove those dead skin cells. And then as well as those uh, broken up walnut shells. And it, you can't feel, you actually can't feel the graininess in it. So this, again, also comes out super buttery, uh, really, really smooth, fantastic lather. Um, but also moisturizing it as well. So you feel really clean, but you don't feel like it's robbed your, your scalp or your skin of that essential oil. What would be good for people with dandruff? Okay, so when we're categorizing dandruff, we have to understand whether it's, it's uh, just dry scalp, dermatitis or eczema. So when it falls into dermatitis and eczema, it comes out more fungus. It, there's generally a lot of oil kind of around that it may come out in clumps or underneath your finger tail, uh, fingertips uh, or your fingernails. And then dandruff, you kind of see it kind of, you know, it's that dry scalp that you generally flake off your shoulders. So for dandruff, I love the uh, performance, the men's performance shampoo. Okay, so, and also look at, you know, uh, what styling products you're pairing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about styling products next because what you'll find is that all these guys are working as a team. Now you could be using a really great shampoo, but maybe one of your styling products may have something that your skin may be sensitive to and it may cause some irritation and some itch. We have another great question here. Daily within body, absolutely. So. All the shampoos have been designed to, to be used once a day. And the key thing, if you're concerned about hair loss, the last thing you wanna do is stop washing your hair for the reasons I gave you, which is about keeping that, that scalp really clean and making sure that the pore, that point of entry where the hair comes out is sort of clean and clear. Love these tips. Don't forget to share regardless of them. Yeah, so, uh, you know, uh, guys, if you want to follow me on Instagram, my name is Ricardo Dennis. It's R-I-C-A-R-D-O. 
uh, D-I-N-I-S is my last name. So definitely ch check me out and hit me up on Instagram and check out Aveda on Instagram as well. And with that, if you put my name up, uh, Ricardo, you'll get a 15% discount on any of the products that I'm mentioning today. So definitely take advantage of that. These are, um, you know, the, the really important point is that guys want their, their hair and their skin to look just as good, you know, as women. So a lot of times, you know, it sometimes is an uncomfortable thing. So these are great gifts to give, you know, boyfriends and friends and loved ones. So don't ever underestimate, you know, the power of a great shampoo or great skincare uh, for the holiday season. So we've spoken about the exfoliating shampoo. We've spoken about both the men's performance shampoo and conditioner. So these are really great for irritated scalp, you know, and just making sure that everything feels and looks really soothing and calm. We have the exfoliating nourishing shampoo, which is really about sort of hair loss and hair growth. And this is just gonna immediately make your hair feel thicker upon using it. Now, you know, Invadi is either a two to three part system. So this is important to understand. If your hair is a little longer, you need to be adding in a conditioner. If your hair is short, it's, it's not that you skip it. It's sometimes you, you, you won't feel as important, especially if it's really, really short. So the, uh, I don't wanna say it's the magic product, but it is, it is, kind, of, it is kind of magical and uh, it really, really works. So this is the scalp revitalizer. It comes in a, a really cool, neat little box here. And this is, this is the guy who's gonna like, you know, the shampoo setting it up, this guy kind of goes to work and it's the activator. Um, and so this is the sort of applicator bottle. And again, this has got the ginseng, the turmeric and the alma. And if you don't know about alma, alma is kind of like a gooseberry. And what that, what that does is when you take that and you put it in a product, it helps to fatten and enlarge in the actual hair shaft. Okay, so this is applied uh, twice daily, day and night, and it's got this really cool um, applicator bottle. I could already feel that I'm running out because I've been using it. So uh, super, super easy to, to use. You're literally just gonna take that applicator bottle and put it right to your scalp, and I'm just gonna kind of show you how I do it. Even with my hair up in a ponytail, you kind of are almost just like taking sections, and I'm just squeezing it ever so lightly, and we're just coming in. And it's got this uh, kind of cooling uh, kind of sensation. So immediately when it goes on the scalp, you can kind of feel it working. And then the other part is to do a massage. Now, the truth is you can do whatever massage you want. So you can sort of run your fingers in circles over the areas that you've actually applied the product. But the main idea is to kind of get that product sitting everywhere on the scalp. And as I'm sure all of you guys know, you know, when we start to use our fingers and we massage this way, what we're actually doing is stimulating, you know, the blood, you know, and that just helps to get that product really kind of penetrating into the sort of scalp area. Okay. And again, really lovely smell. I mean, I was, I was doing some sort of like pre-work last night and I, I had told my wife what a lucky person I am because I get all these really fantastic aromas. So the envati has got this, um, it's geranium, it's rosemary and uh, lavender. And so it's got this really wonderful uh, spa-like smell. And uh, it just, you know, the thing when you're using Aveda products, it, it just, everything feels like an experience. And I think, you know, to that, that when you're, when you're taking care of yourself, you wanna put that that idea into it. It's not just, uh, it, it shouldn't feel like work. I think that's the main thing. You you know, shampooing your hair should feel like an experience. Conditioning your hair should feel like an experience. And that should really just translate, uh, you know, onto your skin as well. So now we've spoken about the shampoos. We've spoken about a scalp revitalizer, all those things to make sure that our scalp is, is looking super healthy. Uh, we've got stuff that's making sure our hairs are <laughs> growing back. You know, we're exfoliating that scalp. We've got something to activate. Let's talk about sort of styling men's hair and what are some of the products that we could be using. So this is all part of the, the men's line, the stuff I'm gonna show you in a second here. 
and I, I'm gonna talk about it more uh, in strength. And the other thing as well is that each of the men's styling products also has the, the Fido Active. It's also there to help deal with dry and irritated scalp. Um, you know, you have things like, like seaweed, tamanu oil, pl uh, ply oil, and also licorice. And so all those things, even in the styling products, are else also helping to make sure that that scalp, you know, stays really, really healthy. And like I said before, you don't want to, you know, break up the combination. If you're using stuff that really works and synergizes together, you're going to get the best results as opposed to pulling them apart and using different things. So that's, that's a really, really key point. So let's start with, um, this is the men's grooming clay. And this is more, uh, you know, for someone who's, who's looking to uh, maybe defy gravity with their hair. So if you've got like a, a shorter hairstyle, uh, kind of more matte fish, it also comes in a really beautiful little box here. And I'll just show you the product here. Okay. So it's, it's, it's quite thick, but it's really, really uh, kind of creamy as it comes out. Um, I want to say it's kind of like thicker than what you would feel, you know, it, it does literally feel like this is some sort of like clay. Um, so this is going to be sort of less shiny, more matte. Uh, it's definitely has some, some sort of like moisturizing condition, but it's, it's kind of like non-greasy. All the styling products here are really lightweight. And this is just gonna be great, you know, when you wanna like kind of get your hair fixed up or you wanna have a little texture. A lot of the times what I'll do when I apply this is I'll actually apply it to the palm of my hand and then I'll just rough it through and I'm just gonna kind of like use what I've got now. You can immediately see what it does is it kind of takes all those little kind of freezes away. So they're great for ponytails, but you know, for guys who've got kind of like a, a shorter kind of cut, you know, maybe they want to accentuate some of that, that front. This is really great. It doesn't fix it to a point where it's like solid and stiff like you've hairsprayed it. It will stay, but then again, once you touch it with your fingers, you can still play and style your hair. So this is really popular right now for a lot of the young guys, you know, with like shorter hair, uh, more, again, more of like a matte finish with this um yeah and it's just just a really great fantastic product also really great for women as well so if you're a you know a woman who's got a shorter kind of cool funky haircut or a pixie cut this is a fantastic product to use to add texture and you can use them in combination with with other uh with with our other products here as well so the other one that's kind of like our, our grooming clay is our grooming cream. And just, you know, just by note of, of the name, you, you immediately start to kind of understand what's happening here. So this is going to be kind of for shorter, a more, you know, fixed kind of cut. Again, I love applying this just to the hair. Sometimes I'll even just use the towel and just towel dry the hair uh, to give it a more kind of natural style. And then the grooming cream is more if you've got, you know, I want to mention like uh, t uh, Timothy Chamele, that, that the young actor right now. So if you've got, you know, hair that's a little bit longer, you probably, you know, a little bit like River Phoenix where you kind of comb it back and forth with your hands or maybe you're tucking it so it's a little bit of a longer hairstyle. Or if you have texture in your hair, uh, some curls, and you need something that's a little bit more hydrating, I love, I love the grooming cream. It's very similar, except what you'll notice is that it just is just creamier. Okay, so this is again really great for curls, uh, and it's gonna it's gonna give you kind of like a medium hold. Is it really gonna fix the hair into like a set style like you would with maybe like a gel? Okay, and this has also got more of like a matte finish as well. This is super super lovely as well. Okay, so a little bit better for like your longer hair kind of style, whereas your clay is going to give you more of what you're, you're looking for, my favorite. My, uh, and again, what I'm showing you guys is the stuff, you know, hairdressers have their, you know, their, their, their pick at, at what Aveda is offering. And as, as hairdressers and artists, you know, what happens is with your own styles, with your own looks, and then, you know, working with your clients, you tend to gear products to specific people and they become your favorites, really what happens.
and then you use them over time and you know just like like everything so the other one I really really like as well um, and this would be again for someone who's not looking for as much hold but maybe a little bit more conditioning and possibly a little a little bit more shine um, so this is the liquid pomade also fantastic I mean a lot of hairdressers and stylists actually use this on curly hair this is a fantastic product I'll show you as well so this comes out it's a little runnier and it 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 doesn't feel like it's got more of like that holding kind of properties and this definitely feels more um, conditioning it's softer it just feels like if you've got kind of frizzier hair and you just need something to kind of smooth it out the aroma right now is is incredible so this is again that sort of lavender uh, it's got the licorice as well but it's also very kind of spicy so it's also got our organic lemon as well so super super nice uh, I mean at the minute you put this on you're like oh my god you smell like a beta so this is great don't wash our hair every day we're not so you so the thing about the revitalizer is you can actually use it on on hair that's not washed so if you're not washing it every day and you feel like you can't use the rub, that's not exactly true. The, the main idea is that once product gets on the scalp, there's kind of like a barrier now that could keep the scalp revitalizer from actually entering into the scalp. Now, you know, we don't know exactly what's happening, what product you're using on your scalp, but the advice that we give is to really, you know, use this twice daily, specifically after you shampoo, but that doesn't say that you can't have this. It's part of your regime, even on your second and your third day, which I do all the time. So I'm with you on that one. Okay. There's, you know, there's always like the best case scenario. If you can, you wash your hair every day and you would apply your scalp revitalizer in the morning and in the evening. But we totally understand that life happens and that's the way things go. So, okay. So the other ones, we've got that liquid pomade, again, moisturizing. This is going to have more shine to the hair. And again, you know, uh, this isn't made for any, like you can find people ranging in different styles, whether it's more mature or younger. So it's really just about looking at what's your specific style and what is it that you're going to need. All right. So sometimes I combine, you know, some of this with a little bit of the grooming cream, just because I want a little bit extra hold and I like the shine as well. Okay. And then the last thing we have for styling products for men's is, you know, you can't, you, you cannot talk about men's products without mentioning a gel. The gel is, you know, probably the most classic men's product out there. And uh, I should mention, you know, I think when we talk a lot about men's styling products, the thing that comes up is, is it heavy? Will it flake? And I'm going to tell you right now, none of this stuff is, is really heavy. It's super, super light. You know, it's very strong, but it's very lightweight. And, you know, the same being said for our firm hold gel. This stuff is really strong. I love like activating it again the second day just with water. So if you're the type of guy who likes to slick their hair back, you know, put some gel in it. And then the next day they just add water to it. This is fantastic for that. This is super firm hold. I've used this on, on a lot of fashion shows where we just take all the guy's hair back and make it super dapper. Uh, again, no flaking here, and I'll just show you again. This comes out, you know, like you would expect uh, a really a gel, a gel to look. Okay. Again, fetal active. You've got all the really great ingredients like the seaweed helping to protect your scalp. You've got the licorice, and you've got the tamanu and the ply oil as well. So this is this. These are just great because they're all working together. Okay. So time is just going by so quickly here. So the last sort of regime of, of products is our skincare. And my favorite is the Botanical Kinetics. And guys, you need to start uh, a really simple routine of washing your face. Uh, you know, and the, the main thing is thinking that you actually have twice the amount of pores, you know, that women, women do, and you're producing twice the amount of oil on your skin as well. And so, you know, those, those are things that, you know, just to keep your skin looking fresh and healthy and younger as you, as you go on. And of course, isn't to replace important things like diet, like not eating junk food and drinking lots and lots of water. So 
let's start uh, talking about our botanical kinetics purifying gel cleanser. Okay, so this is, um, you know, when I wash my face, I, again, there are things that just, I've got, I've got oilier skin. My, my skin tends to become a bit more sensitive during the winter months. Uh, this is something I use all year. It's kind of like a, a perfect uh, face wash for me. It comes out as a gel. It lathers really, really brilliantly. And uh, you can already almost start to see the kind of suds starting to, to almost form in my hands here. So this is just, it's, it's gentle cleansing. It's helping to remove the oil and, and impurities. Is there an, a, an issue with mixing in body shampoo with Nutriplenish conditioner or other Avedic conditioner? No, there is not. So you're in body, thanks for that great question, Brian, by the way. So you can mix and match your products. And I do that because my hair is really long and Nutriplenish is something that I do tend to go to, especially during the winter months when my hair is really dry. I try to focus on keeping that conditioner on the scalp. And it is something that I sometimes cycle through. So you can, you can totally do that. Yes, and I've just answered that. So you can absolutely use it. But the main thing to think about is like, it's like Invadi, just like I'm showing you with the men's products, the Invadi system is like, like as strong as the, the shampoo and conditioner and the revitalizer next to it. So when you're just using one facet, you're kind of depriving yourself of the other two key things, which is the shampoo and possibly conditioner if you need that. So that's a, a, an important part of the thing. It doesn't mean that you can't. And, and just like you, I have long hair with really bad ends that I sometimes want to, you know, use, uh, especially that Nutriplenish Rich, uh, you know, just as a real great conditioning agent. And so you can absolutely do that stuff in certain scenarios and cases where you want to treat your hair a little different to something. But, you know, think about, think about the system and how they, they pair together, okay? So this is what I use to wash my face, and I'm doing that in the morning and in the evening. So the, you know, the other part is knowing what kind of skin type you have, so whether you're, you know, tend to be from dry to normal or from normal to oily. So I'm kind of more of a normal to oily and sometimes combination depending on, on <laughs> where I'm at in the world. Um, but when you're, when you're thinking about your skin, a great way of just kind of figuring out what your skin type is, is you just go to the, go to the bathroom, wash your face with just water and wait about a half an hour to an hour. And if your face feels really, really tight, or you're starting to notice some redness, you're probably dry. You know, you probably might notice some of the sensitivity coming out as well. And if you notice that your face is really oily or, you know, blotchy in certain areas, then you know that you've got oily skin or combination. So that's a good way of just testing it. and then make sure you source up the products that are right for you. So washing your face is super, super important. And then a, a step that I think a lot of guys uh, uh, skip, this is the botanical kinetics uh, toning mist. So uh, this is super important. So a toner is kind of like if you think of your skin as like a sponge, you know, once that sponge is really dry, it can have a hard time absorbing moisture. And what to what a toner does is it really balances out the skin. And I'm just gonna kind of, cause I, need, I haven't done it today, so I need to do it. So it's super, it's super refreshing. You, you generally find that you, you'll end up using more than you need, but the, the toning mist, uh, again, is just helping to get your skin ready. So it's, yeah, so the exfoliants for me, again, if you're using an exfoliant, it's fantastic. It really depends. Uh, I don't use an exfoliant as much. I find that just, just shampooing, but again, it's, that is, this is my personal, personal routine and exfoliants are fantastic. Uh, I just love using the gel. I fit, I, then I use the toner and then I will go and apply our Botanical Kinetics uh, Hydrating Soft Cream, okay? so. This is what I apply sort of day and night. And guys, yeah, please, if you mention my name, Ricardo, you're going to get 15% off. So the Botanical Kinetics has this ingredient that I have such a hard time pronouncing. It's the uh, Kapakua. I 
probably said that wrong. Capacua, and it basically creates, it's basically a nut, and I believe it's from Brazil, and it creates this really luscious kind of butter is the way I would describe it. So, um, you know, when you're, when you're applying uh, your sort of, you know, your moisturizer, so very important, uh, people focus up here. One of my big concerns is actually my neck. So I just kind of will take little dabs like that. And then as I work and like really, I actually start from the, the bottom up and I'm trying to fight gravity as I use this. So I'm kind of like, my wife's always like, you need to pull those lines upwards. Okay, so this does not get applied to the eyes. So you can see I'm kind of like staying away from the eye area. And because I've used that toner, you can see the conditioner on the moisturizer just really works really nicely into my skin. So I feel super fresh. And then as, as, as we get older, so this is our energizing eye cream. Okay. Does the Invody Advanced Thickening complement the men's Invody system? Yes, yeah, so I actually have the Invody uh, Thickening Conditioner here. I was gonna mention at the end. So if you're looking for a thickening conditioner, I love, love this conditioner. It's super lightweight. It keeps the hair super light. It's not going to weigh it down. <clears throat> but you will find in the shampoo, in the Invody Nourishing Exfoliating Shampoo, one of the comments and things that's really been designed is it does have a lot of conditioning properties. So you, you know, you may be thinking in your mind, this is like some really strong shampoo that's exfoliating, pulling everything off. In fact, it's kind of, it really targets it where it's supposed to be. So it's pretty incredible because it really targets and focuses a lot of the cleansing on the scalp. And then a lot of the nourishing is happening actually in the hair those sort of conditioning properties. But yeah, if you do have a sort of longer hair, these guys work really, really well together. And so this is our Invody Thickening Conditioner. And your key ingredients are your ginseng, your turmeric, and almond. These are like your incredible, incredible products. So finishing up with my eye cream here. And so um, this is actually has uh, that, <laughs> I can't even say this, Kurakua. Uh, also has that in there and it also has caffeine which is really kind of like helping to energize you know those dark circles there so when we do this like a good tip is you have to remember that this skin essentially under your eyes is a much thinner type of skin and so when we're applying this uh, I actually a really great tip is just to apply it and you can you know you can put like little beads under your eye is to actually apply it to your to your ring finger and use your ring finger as a, as a way of kind of massaging it into the skin rather than your index finger, which can be a little harsh. And then instead of working from the outside or from the inside out, what I like to do is actually work from the exterior and actually work my way in this way. So you can just see, I'm trying to be really kind of gentle with that and then the same thing here. And this is those just, you know, for me, you know, we had an earlier question about exfoliant. I was really just, just thinking about, you know, how many steps there, there actually can be because you can't think about masks. And the, the best thing is to just get started with a really simple, you know, three to four step routine that you're going to be doing daily. And then, you know, as you get further into it, you may start to pick up some other products where you really want to start to like, like take care of yourself. But, you know, just with the application of it, don't feel like it's work. Really take those, those moments in the morning to just like look after your hair, look after your skin. Um, it, it, again, this, is, this should be feeling like, you know, a love ritual with yourself where you're really taking care of yourself. So I'm just gonna do a, a really quick recap and give you guys another chance to get some of these really fantastic products. And then I will wish you guys happy holidays and I just 
you know, reiterate how important, you know, good health is at home when you're looking at skin and hair, you know, a really great healthy diet and making sure that you're drinking lots of water. So uh, we have our in-body uh, nourishing exfoliating shampoo. Again, this is really great for, you know, for that dead skin, that's uh, uh, cellular turnover. So this is fantastic for that. We have our scalp revitalizer, which is really, you know, a, a, a really system that goes just together. So I love the, working these websites where we're back to. So we've got that. We've also got our men's performance shampoo and conditioner. And this is like, like if you're just a guy looking for some really fantastic products out there just for your own hair care, this is a great one to be using both the shampoo and conditioner. And then we had all those really great styling products. So let's just put those back in order. So we had our, our grooming clay, definitely excellent for sort of shorter, you know, shorter cuts and styles, more of a matte finish. We have the, the uh, excuse me, the grooming cream, right? And so this is fantastic if your hair is just a little bit longer and you need more of those conditioning properties. I love that. Also really great for curls, medium hold, stronger hold. And then we have our liquid pomade, which is just going to add more conditioner. It's more moisturizing, adds a little bit of shine. And then of course we had our men's uh, firm hold gel. Okay. And then the last things we just shared, which was just our, our, our my skincare routine. So we started off with our bot botanical kinetics purifying gel cleanser uh, it's just a really great cleanser uh, to use both in the mornings and in the evenings okay and then don't forget your uh, toning mist super important really helping to prepare and balance out the skin for a moisturizer and then what I like to use which is from sort of like a normal to oilier skin. I'm a little bit drier right now, so this is our hydrating soft cream, okay? And then I finish up with our energizing eye cream, okay? And this is just, just to be applied under the eyes if it would come out of our, our little box here. It's kind of stuck now. But you're, you're gonna apply that just underneath the eyes, and this is also applied morning and night as well okay so i just want to say uh happy holidays to all of you guys i hope you guys got something out of this and you've purchased some things for your loved ones they're going to be really really happy when they see some of these stocking stuffers or if you're just shopping for yourself uh, just really take care of yourself and don't treat it like it's work it should just really feel like a, a wellness moment Check me out on Instagram. My name is Ricardo Dennis. I'm the head of, of haircutting for Aveda. So I'm always posting lots of cool pics. And uh, big shout out to Aveda. Thanks for having me on, guys. Happy holidays to all of you guys. Thank you so much.